Oh, the hammer play. Um, well, it was something we, when I was playing in Milwaukee, um, so I was a defensive, uh, offensive rebounding, um, dunking machine. Uh, we had shooters all around me. Sam Cassell, Ray Allen, Glenn Robinson, Tim Thomas, Michael Red. Like, so the, our, we didn't need anybody else shooting threes. Uh, so I found my little niche, and, and uh, George just came up with this play. Like, I'd be messing, he'd post me up sometimes, and he saw that I could make pretty good reads out of the post. And so uh, one day, I think we're in Indiana, I want to say, and he just drew up the play, man, out of the ATO. At the time, out play is what we call ATO. Um, and it was meant to go one way, make a spin move, because I would, when I would get it in the post, I'd spend some time, go finish, or spend some time, hit some, spin one time, hit somebody on a slash or space who were space for a three. And Ray, every time I get offensive rebounds anyway, I would look for Ray, just kick us, because when you get off as a rebound, a defense has a tendency to drop their shoulders, relax, or get disappointed. So in that little quick split second, I find my shooters. So George drew it up and baseline and even said, got to jump out of bounds, jump out of bounds. I had big hands. I could palm the ball. So jumping out of bounds gave me more time. I was athletic. So I had a pretty good hang time. A lot of people, you know, they call it Hammer. And my name's Ham. And the Hammer is playing names after you. It's named after you. I'm like, yeah, I'm Ham, Hammer. Like, you don't get it. But it's, I'm humbled by it, man. It's something that came from the wits of a great coach and George Carl. And uh, I'm just happy that I was one half of it, me and Ray Allen.